presentation is a critical part of casting. After all, we can be in the right place with the right fly. We may be able to cast the amount of line that we need to reach the fish, but if we can't present the fly properly and correctly, then we're not going to catch the fish. We're not going to tease him or tempt him into thinking that our fly is a real insect or a natural that he wants to eat. So whether we're fishing flies that float, which are called dry flies, which just float along on the surface and we let the current carry them downstream, or we're fishing nymphs, which are flies that sink, that may also just drift along with the current, but underneath the surface, or streamers, which are flies that we cast out and then we make swim back, we move them through the water. Regardless of the kind of fly or the type of fly that we're fishing, we have to know how to present that fly correctly. This is such an important part of fly casting that we're going to look at it on the grass and then we're going to go to the water and, and, and talk about presentation there as well. There are some parts of this that we can practice on the grass, like everything else. Many times we can't get to the water, but we can get to the local athletic field or ball diamond or, or golf course where we can get out and practice our casting. And that's very important to, to do that and to stay in touch with what, what we're learning and, and um, the things that we're looking at here today. When we talked about the basic false casts, we talked about how important it is to have equal amounts of energy in the back cast and the forward cast. And it's that energy that's in those casts that's going to make it possible for us to present that fly. But there's a little bit more than that too. For instance, if we're making our cast, and here we are with the false casts, and if we stop at the, for, at the front end of the forward cast, but we happen to stop too high, then our line's going to flutter down. It's going to lose the line speed. It's going to lose the energy, and it's just going to drift down, and we're going to lose the distance on the cast, and there's going to be too much slack, and maybe the fly will fall back on the leader or, or back on the fly line. So that's what happens if we stop the cast too high. It kind of flutters down like that. It doesn't have a chance to turn over and to go out straight over the water. On the other hand, if we bring the rod tip down too soon and too fast, then it crashes and piles on top of itself. It's noisy. It's going to smack the water and scare the fish. So the perfect angle, the perfect position to allow that cast to straighten out is right about eye level, right there. The cast turns over, the fly gets to the end of the cast, and as it comes down to the grass and down to the water, the rod tip follows it. 